honeymoon going, Emily? Well, we made it to the airport. Now, let's head back to Gatwick, where we have heard in the last 15 minutes or so that flights have been suspended again after a drone sighting. We can speak now to newlywed Emily, who's just arrived at the airport for her honeymoon to go to Argentina. Emily, how are you? Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed. We were pretty uh, high hopes on the train, and then, um, you, yeah, I got a phone call from one of your journalists, and then she was like, oh, by the way, and I was like, oh, great, didn't realise. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit heartbreaking, really, because we've been looking forward to this a long time. has been fairly interesting but we made it it's 25 degrees we're on time we're about to go get another flight and it's all gone to plan so far oh what so this video is going to be a bit of a hot pot so over three weeks we spent Four days basically in Buenos Aires. Kind of in half day batches we flew in, we spent half day in Palermo. About a bit a week later between Iguazu and Ushuaia, we spent a day here, stayed again in Palermo. Uh, and now we're. We stayed here once before this. Yeah, but it's yeah. total about four days. Right. Uh, and now we've got two days of staying in Recoleta, but kind of trying to tick off all the uh, all the monuments, so doing a bit of everything. But so far it seems pretty cool. So the, uh, the traditional Argentinian street food speciality is called a chori. It's a, a chori pan, which is chorizo in bread, pan. Um, great. And it looks like one of them, chorizo sandwich, basically like a best burger ever. They also sell beer, which is also delicious. So last day, we got into Buenos Aires yesterday evening and we have one day to tick off an enormous list of things. Go, go, go! Starting with San Telmo, then down to Boca, then Puerto Marín, then we're going to go to Recoleta Cemetery. Puerto then Marín. Puerto, Puerto Madero. Madero, Puerto Madero, that's the one. And then, if we've got time, took a couple more bits, have a wash and then head to Don Julio to eat our weight in steak for dinner with Nicola and Mike. Let's go out with a gastric bang. And that's it, so let's see how we get on. So this is San Telmo Market. For those who've got lactose intolerance, Woo! the almond milk sign is here. La Boca! So this is Puerto Madero, which feels kind of like 
Okay, Wharf, Docklands kind of vibe. Got some old shipping kind of looking buildings there and some big tower block, city block type things over there. Didn't really get the camera out in La Boca very much. Felt a bit scary. Actually just really touristy to be honest with you. And not that much to see. So it's pretty, it's kind colourful. Of, if you like colourful buildings. You can tell what was original and what was fake because we got on the taxi. So this is Palermo, cobbled streets, cafes, people sitting outside, cool bars, nice cafes, really chill kind of ambiance, big fan of it here. Right, next thing to cross off the list, Recoleta Cemetery. <laughs> Final night in Buenos Aires. Where should we go for dinner, Emily? And Nicola. <laughs> and Mike. And me. <laughs> Don Julio! Don Julio. So we've been to Don Julio. I've eaten so much steak I feel like I could drop down dead at any point, but I don't think I'm going to. We've eaten some ice cream. We can't really deny it any longer, Emily. Where are we going tomorrow? Going to Buenos Aires Airport. Yeah, and then maybe they'll cancel all the flights. And we get so a little stay of another day or two. Just give me some money and I'll get some water. Uh, let's go. Fun final buying of a bottle of water. It's a real big moment for us. Kiosco. Emily dropped a bit of chorizo. It's just downed it in one. Oh, no, it hasn't. It just we wanted the again. dog to pick it up as a present to the dogs of Argentina. And now it's been stolen. By a pigeon. Every time we left. 